Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to my easiest modern house tutorial This is literally one of the easiest modern houses. I think that is possible to build. No, it is not the best looking Yes, it still looks pretty dang cool It's got everything you could ever need to live a full enchantment table down there a full little brewing area up here a second guest bed I mean literally everything you could ever need. So yeah, let's get to building all right, so for your easiest modern house ever, you're gonna need to find the materials on the hop bar below. You wanna copy this shape right here. These are a three block space in between. There's gonna be four on the top, four on the bottom, and one in between. So if you wanna copy this, pause it right here. All right, I'm gonna assume that you have copied that. I'm gonna remove this wool real quick. Now you should be left with either these one or two high pillars. Either way, you're gonna wanna build them up for a total of four blocks high. So just do that all the way around the build and uh, you should end up with the base of your build. These are gonna be sort of the wall things. I don't really know how to describe them. You're gonna wanna double up these right here, just the ones that are on this inside block right here. The, like not the corners because you know, obviously they can't, it'd have to be like that. And I, I don't know, that, that would just look weird to me personally, but don't do that. But on all of these, you just want to do that, and eventually you should end up with something like that. Next step is going to be taking your quartz block, and we're just going to overlay the roof. Now again, keep in mind this is one of the easiest modern houses you can build in Minecraft. It is not going to be the best, so don't leave me a comment saying, Ooh, this is crap, Neo. What are you doing? Like, it's supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be the best in the world. It's supposed to be something maybe a beginner in Minecraft can pick up. But I mean, something that also looks a little bit good, a little bit fancier than just your typical, like cobblestone and spruce house that's you know I don't know I mean I'm not ragging on my own houses of course but anyways the next step is going to be placing the area where your windows are going to be so that's a pretty simple step all you have to do is go all the way around and uh, see where these wool blocks were it's actually kind of dead but uh, you just have to place it on this outside block right here the outside of this uh, gray quartz not gray quartz, uh, gray, it's actually cyan hardened and clay, I don't want to get into that right now, but it's not supposed to be cyan, it's supposed to be gray, but I, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Uh, you want to use black stained glass, black or gray is going to look fine, I prefer the look of this black stained glass right here, but uh, I think the next step is pretty self-explanatory, all you have to do is go around the entire build, and uh, fill in all these windows, so that's not hard at all, again, it's just right above where you did those, so I'm going to complete that real quick. Keep in mind, uh, you want to pick an area for entrance, either this one or this one. I think I'm going to choose this one for my entrance, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in this one. Now the door, it can really be anything you want. I like the way spruce doors look, so I think I'm going to use a spruce door on this. But uh, you want to build it over, just on one side like this. And we're going to place it from the inside, of course, just to give it some more depth. And uh, it's looking good from the outside so far. Again, it's supposed to be very, very, very simple. Uh, you want to fill in the roof all the way. That's obviously something you want to do. Um, if you don't have a roof, you're probably going to get wet inside your build when it rains, and that's a no bueno. Although some of my builds, they don't have roofs, but I mean, you don't have to have a roof necessarily, but I mean, it's going to look weird without a roof. I think some builds do, like this one. Yeah, it'd look a little bit funky without a roof, but that's going to be pretty much the uh, outside of the build. We're going to do a couple more things here, and then we're going to get started on the inside. All right, so the second floor of this build, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is do the exact same thing you did up top. So there's going to be three block space, and you, you can just sort of like see where these supports are going to be. Three block space, one, two, three, three block space, one, two, three, three block space, one, two, three, just like that. And I know I'm saying that repeatedly. It actually helps me when I do it, honestly. And uh, you just got to count three, three block space like that. You just want to build these up again, but you only want to build them. Well, I mean, it's just going to be the same height, but... Uh, you want to build them up to be a total of three high on this one, yeah, because the roof is going to be up here, and yeah, that's three high. So build them up to be a total of three high, not like the first floor where they were four high. And uh, again, you want to copy pretty much the exact same thing you did down below. Um, there's not really any differences except that uh, the, it's only going to be three high. So again, just do the exact same thing you did before. I think you guys should be able to do this. Um, you just want to fill them, fill them in with glass. And then you want to do the same sort of roof thing. I mean, it's literally the exact same. So we're just going to do that up top. And uh, we're going to make this roof, again, extend one over just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish out uh, this floor real quick. Again, it's just going to be the same thing with the glass, except there's not going to be an entryway in this one. So actually, all of them are going to be filled in with glass, um, of course, on the outside block. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this floor real quick. I think you guys have a pretty good idea of what you're going to do, and I'll be right back. And there we go, the outside of the build is complete. As you can see, again, a pretty simple modern house. It's not supposed to be the best. Uh, I did forget to fill that in real quick, so let's fill that in. But uh, that is gonna be the outside of your build. There's gonna be a couple of modifications done just for like chest storage and stuff. So, for example, on this corner right here, if we wanted to add furnaces, we would just bring these glass blocks up a little bit. And that'll just add some variation to your build. You can go ahead and do that on a couple of areas here just to make sure that 
you uh, just plan out where you're going to put stuff. If you want to put furnaces and stuff in an area, you're going to have to close off some blocks like this just so you can, you know, build it without them connecting. And again, that's just going to make your build look a little bit better. Just going to have some variation here on the outside. Um, it's not like absolutely necessary to do this a lot. But uh, if you want to put some things on the ground floor of your build, you're going to want to do that in just some areas. And that's just going to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, I suppose if you wanted to make it a little bit more modern on the front, you could do something like that. That could just help. And then you could definitely like just throw down one of these. I mean, we all know that in a modern build, you got to have these. I don't really know why or uh, how that started. But uh, whoever started that trend... Man, they really started a trend <laughs> like they I mean honestly most modern builds you see they all have like plants on the outside I don't know why Necessarily, but I mean eh, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna fill in the bottom floor with spruce wood uh, Obviously the second floor is gonna have to be how it is So we're gonna have to take a ladder like this and I know not the fanciest way to get up and down But if you wanted to build a staircase in here, I don't know It'd just be a pain in the butt. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do a ladder right here with a trapdoor at the top just like that. I wish they were like spruce trapdoors and stuff. I think that'd be cool. I don't know why they haven't added that stuff yet, but hey, Mojang, get on that. Get on that. All right, so the first floor is going to be a spruce wood floor, so I'm going to go ahead and complete that real quick. All right, and once that spruce floor is complete and the top floor is complete, that's pretty much the end of the build. Now, let's get to the inside. So right off the bat, I'm already seeing a perfect opportunity right here for a little bit of chest storage. So you want to place some upside down stairs at the top, and we're just going to uh, lob some chests down. That's going to give you a bunch of storage. Um, if you don't like the way that looks, I mean, you don't have to do it, but personally, I mean, I think it looks pretty clean. Um, we're going to put another stair right there. We're going to take a trap door in place of this stair on the hot bar. And then we're just going to throw an ender chest down right there. So that way you have ender chest storage and pretty much everything you need right when you walk in the door. Awesome. So utilizing one of these areas is fun. So again, you can add them wherever you want. But uh, for instance, right here, I think that should be something with some furnaces like this. Maybe a crafting table in the corner with a pot and a blue orchid. That's just going to fill up the space and it looks pretty nice. If you want to, you can always put these cool little trap door things right here. And uh, you could throw a little chest up there. Maybe a chest up there. If you don't want to have the same sort of thing going on, you could just do like one double. Ooh, not a bed. Just uh, one double chest like this. I mean, it's not going to connect from the outside. So from the outside, it actually looks pretty interesting. Just makes it look like the build is filled. And, uh, I mean, you're always going to need storage. So I think that looks pretty cool. So we are going to need to find a spot for the bed. I think the first floor is going to be a pretty cool spot for the bed. So we're going to place the book. Not the book. The, uh, whatever that's called. The bed right there. And then we're going to put a pot with a blue orchid in it. And that looks nice. Uh, again, if you just wanted some more storage, completely optional, of course. But uh, you could do some more chests like that, and that just looks cool. I mean, I, I just think that looks cool, so I keep doing it. Uh, of course, you do not have to do that. Um, we're going to put a trap door down here, trap door, and then another pot. But instead, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll do a torch on this wall. We don't actually have lighting in the build yet, so it's going to be kind of necessary to do that. Um, it's pretty cool because you can just throw all the torches up here, and uh, that'll help everything out. Uh, it's going to look weird if we don't do it. Actually, we'll just leave the crafting table open like that. Uh, let's go to the second floor. Same sort of story up here. Same thing. Just put the torches on the ends of these little supports. And it should be golden. So let's finish out the bottom floor here. Alright, so right here across from the entrance door. Um, I think it's a perfect opportunity for one of these little tables. These always look nice. They always, you know, add a little bit of spice to a build. Obviously, you can do a little stubby table. But if you want to do a long table like that, that looks good. Uh, put Throw down a creeper head. Why not? Um, up top here, you can do like the same sort of thing again with these chests like this. Um, actually, you don't want to do it right there because that's on the wrong block. My bad. It has to be on this top half of the second block for that to work. And uh, there's a pot in the way, so you can't put it there. You have to put it right there, and then you, you just can't stack it. But that looks good. <clears throat> I think that looks good. Um, over here on the side, we are going to do an enchantment table. So I would break out these blocks right here. I would also break out this block, and I would just fill these in with bookcases, right? I would then break out this area and then just sort of bring it down one. Uh, you want to go for a full 30 enchantment table because, I mean, if you're not going full for a, if you're, let me speak. If you're not going for a full 30 enchantment table, I mean, there's not really a point in putting one down. You can't just, you know, half, half butt it or, you know, you know how that saying supposed to go. You can't do that to it because then you wouldn't have, like, there's no point. Let's go ahead and make sure this is 30. If not, we, ooh, oh no. Why is that so, uh, oh, <laughs> that's funny. Let's make sure it's full 30. No, it's not. Okay, definitely not full 30. So we are going to have to find a way to put more bookcases in, but we don't want it to look weird. Um, 
we could try these okay this is just a, this is just a testament all right so this will definitely make it 30 right and those are the corner blocks okay and people are saying that that is not hold on i, I gotta talk to maniac geek make sure he knows i'm recording so there's about how our conversations go so um sometimes we'll go into spectator mode but this see this is gonna bug the heck out of me so uh, we're just gonna take some oak wood here and uh, we're just gonna fill in the same thing just so it doesn't look weird because it, it just it looks weird to me if we don't do it like that uh, you want to come in here, you want to fill in these blocks. Again, it's a full 30 now, which is always nice. I mean, who doesn't like a full, full 30 enchantment table, right? Um, if you want to, you're going to have to wall off this area, unfortunately, somehow, because you're, I mean, it's just right here. So if you just go ahead and, like, throw some trap doors down, I mean, you can accomplish some of the same sort of thing, I guess. Um, we're just going to make a little bit of a roof like that. Uh, it's not completely necessary to do that. You don't have to, of course, but we're going to make it look nice. We're going to make it look nice. So let's take some ladders here, and uh, we'll put the ladders on the wall right there. Oh, not right there. Uh, we're going to do the same sort of floor in here, so spruce. Uh, we do need to find a place for an anvil and stuff, so we can go ahead and break out these blocks right here. Take some stairs that are upside down, and we can do a couple of neat things right here. So let's put the stairs upside down. Let's, uh, of course, grab a chest. Why not? We can throw down a double chest in here. Um, we can actually throw down a bunch of stuff in here. So I think we should do a chest. We should do an ender chest. Then I think we should do an anvil. Hmm, let's see. Chest, ender chest, anvil. We'll just do two anvils because you always need a bunch of anvils. But uh, that's going to be your full 30 enchantment table. Um, if you want to make this part look nice right here, you could do some bookcases like that. And then on top, I mean, why not just throw down a bunch of flower pots? I'm going to do the same sort of flowers, but that's just because I'm too lazy to grab more. But um, that's pretty much what I do for the enchantment table. I would leave this area open, honestly. I mean, it just looks pretty cool. Uh, if you wanted to take some carpet and do something in here that made it look nice, this sort of goes against the whole, like, uh, I guess, modern theme. But if you wanted to do something in here just to make it look a little bit more... Uh, uh, homely I guess or home I guess homely wouldn't be the right word if you wanted to make it for feel more like a home you could do something like this and just make a little bit of a carpet down here and I think that's pretty good for the first floor again you could make it more useful in a survival sense of course but I think this looks pretty cool for the first floor so let's come back and uh, up top and let's uh, get started on here so uh, hmm so right off the bat from the ladder, I'm facing this direction right here. The entrance is over here. I'm thinking that right here is a perfect place for some armor stands. So we're going to go ahead and just switch up some things, add some random uh, sort of armors on, and we'll just see how it turns out. There we go. Just two little armor stands right there uh, in the middle. I guess if you wanted to, you could throw an anvil or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe even a chest up there. I don't know. You guys get creative. But uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. I would also put a stair right here and a stair right here. And then follow that by a painting, and then a painting, and then follow those paintings by some pots with some uh, plants that haven't been placed before. Uh, I think those plants look nice, looking good, looking good. All right, so this area in the corner over here, we are going to break these blocks out, and then we're going to come outside and make sure everything doesn't look completely ridiculous with those blocks. Uh, let's make sure when we come back in. Oh yeah, that looks fine. That definitely looks really good, actually. So we're going to come back inside, and uh, we're going to do something pretty fun in here. All right. All right, so buy the materials from the hot bar. I think you're gonna. I think you already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna place three pieces of glowstone right there. We're gonna place some trap doors. Then we're gonna place some soul sand under again with some trap doors outlining it. Then we're gonna throw down some nether wart, and that's gonna continue growing. And we're gonna have a little growery right there. We're gonna put some water in there and just have something like that. Uh, I'm trying to think how I could do this in the best way possible. I'm thinking just a spruce table right there would look best with the brewing stand. Um, I think, yeah, I think that'll be fine, actually, because, you, yeah, you'll, you'll be able to get that just fine. Um, if not, if you wanted to sort of keep this pattern going, you could put a little bit of something like that. And then one, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to do it like that, feel free. I think that's going to look the best just so that we can sort of keep that continuity right here with that row. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. So I think mainly upstairs we should definitely just outline like a bunch of this because... We're going to need a lot of this area just to put some stuff, so I'm just going to do that right there and right there. So I'm thinking right here, we need more furnaces, so we're going to put those there. Uh, I did forget to grab some pressure plates, so let's grab some stone pressure plates. Hold down whatever key it is to crouch, and then place those. We definitely need a crafting table, so we'll down, throw down a crafting table, and then we'll just throw down another chest, because I mean chests are always nice. And that means if you place the chest right here, you can only place like one thing right there, because if you did something like, like this, it would block half the chest. So I think in the corner, hmm, we'll find something. All right, so I'm thinking right here, we throw down a spruce fence, throw down some trap doors like this. That way it's not blocked at all, really. 
and then two of these leaves oh no why do leaves connect leaves aren't solid blocks silly game i don't know why leaves connect um well, we can't do that then because leaves that's so weird i did not know leaves connected huh uh we could try putting it right here i think that would look okay so we'll go ahead and just do the same sort of thing here break down that block and there we go um, I guess, I mean, it's fine. I don't really think you need something right there necessarily, but uh, if you wanted to put something there, you could. How does that look? I can't tell if that looks good or not. I think that's fine. I think that should be fine. All right, let's figure out something for this last little corner right here. We'll leave this window open, but we'll find something for right here. All right, well, I mean, I don't think, like, a guest bed ever really hurt anyone, so we'll throw down a guest bed right there, just in case someone wants to come in here and sleep. Um, this window we'll just leave open because, I mean... I mean, it's beautiful. I think it looks good. And we pretty much have everything we could ever need in here. So we're going to do the same sort of thing. Same story with the carpet. We're just going to place it randomly until it looks sort of somewhat good. What was in the middle there? Was something there? And I broke it. I don't think there was. But we'll I'd see that that's bad. I, I don't remember if something was there. Uh, yeah, it all should be all right. So we'll do some carpet like that. I think that looks pretty interesting. And then we'll come back down below and wrap up the tutorial. So if you guys like this build and you want to see more simple builds like this and much, much more, even some advanced stuff, click that subscribe button. You get notified when I upload. Be sure to turn on those post notifications and uh, you'll be uh, one of the first people to know if I have uploaded. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. It's really, really awesome seeing you guys give me all the support. Um, if you want to join, subscribe. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, don't. Uh, can we get a thousand likes in this build? I think that's justified. Uh, I mean, I'm, I think every YouTuber says that. But a thousand likes in this build would just show me that you're liking what I'm doing. Uh, if you don't like it, leave a dislike. I really honestly want feedback. So leave a dislike if you don't like it. But I do ask that if you leave a dislike, you leave a comment explaining why so I can cater my future videos more to your liking. But uh, yeah, if you're curious about the shader pack, texture pack, any of that fancy stuff, it's all going to be down in the description below. I'm going to say thank you a final time, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.